England, in the gallant days when history hung on the flight of an arrow or the slash of a sword, when feudal barons and their bold legions vied for power, ravaging the countryside to live in regal pomp and splendor, when one man alone dared challenge the might of his country's oppressors, one leader and his stalwart band, Robin Hood, outlaw of Sherwood Forest, with Will Scarlet and Friar Tuck and Little John and all the other valiant Saxons, robbing the rich to feed the poor, humbling the proud to serve the meek, ready to fight for king, for country, or for maiden fair. Robin Hood, as daring in love as he was in battle, giving his heart to the enchanting Maid Marian and his sword to the cause of King Richard the Lionheart, defying the armies of the cruel pretender Prince John and his villainous henchman Sir Guy of Gisborne. Great times were these when life was filled with battle and romance, and when I tell you that the adventures of Robin Hood with Errol Flynn is the most exciting motion picture treat this old headline hunter has ever had, I am putting it mildly. Now, I am going to let Robin Hood and his men speak for themselves. Now, this forest is wide. It can shelter and clothe and feed a band of good determined men, good swordsmen, good archers, good fighters. Are you with me? But Richard has no army. No, Your Highness. If he had, we should have heard of it. If my brother happened to be killed, England would have a new king. That was beautiful. And you're leaving here at once. Please, darling, every minute you're here, you're in danger. Okay. Marion, I wonder, will you come with me? To Sherwood? I have nothing to offer you but a life of hardship and danger, but we'd be together. But I love you, Robin. I'd come. Even the danger would mean nothing if you were with me. I suppose you realize the penalty for killing a king's deer is death. Are there no exceptions? Not only has she consorted with this Saxon rebel, found guilty of outlawry, theft, murder, abduction, and high treason, but she has betrayed her own Norman people. I know now why you tried so hard to kill this outlaw whom you despised. It's because he was the one man in England who protected the helpless against a lot of beasts who were drunk on you in blood. You'll be sorry you interfered. I'd do it again if you killed me for it. That is exactly what is going to happen to you. He wouldn't dare to execute the king's ward. You underestimate him, sire. If we're to save her and your throne, we've got to act now. You call me traitor? Yes. And every man here who gives you allegiance. Let me ram those words down his throat, Your Highness. From this night on, I use every means in my power to fight you. 